Hi-Fi Berry, supplier of the audio cards for the Raspberry Pi, has released version 1.04 of its Loon endpoint image. Take a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3, install one of the Hi-Fi Berry audio cards, copy the Hi-Fi Berry Rune endpoint image to a micro SD card and stick that card in the card slot on the Raspberry Pi. That is all it takes to have a Rune endpoint under 100 euros. You can of course tweak the power supply and even the entry point of the power supply to enhance the sound quality. See the Raspberry Pi for audio playlist, the link is in the top right corner. You can even build a simple ghetto blaster for in the garage or kitchen by using the M plus board that does the DA conversion and has a 2x25 watt amp. Just add some speakers and a nice cabinet and you're set. Copying the image file onto a micro SD card on, on a Windows computer is easy when you use Win32 Disk Imager. Mac users can download Apple Pie Baker that works the same as Win32 Disk Imager. I'll place links below this video in YouTube. In both programs you select the SD card slot your card is in, select the image and start copying. After a few minutes your startup disk in the shape of a micro SD card is ready. It would have been even easier if Hi-Fi Berry would have added an option for this installation in their fantastic Hi-Fi Berry installer. That is software that guides you through the choice of Raspberry Pi audio and video software and then prepares the SD card for you. Fully configured for your hardware. The Rune endpoint isn't in it, unfortunately. The Hi-Fi Berry Rune endpoint image also configures itself for the right Hi-Fi Berry card and also updates itself. So if a newer version of this distribution is issued by Hi-Fi Berry, it will be updated automatically. When you start up Rune and go to Settings Audio, the Hi-Fi Berry endpoint becomes visible immediately under the name Hi-Fi Berry and the name of the audio card. Click on the cox on the right to change the settings and the zone name as will be shown in room. As far as the sound quality goes, that depends on what card and what tweaks you use. Again, see the Raspberry Pi for audio playlist. Hi-Fi Berry once again showed to think proactive in helping their customers to make things simpler. Chapeau! So subscribe to this channel, follow my Facebook or Google Plus page or my Twitter account. You can also post questions there, but please don't ask me for buying advice. View my questions video to find out why, the link is in the top right corner. You'll find more information below this video in YouTube. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell your friends on the web about it. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do. Enjoy the music.